Hello everybody, this is Bill here at the Treehouse English Studio in Koganicho, Yokohama, Japan. Today is Wednesday, uh, December 9th, 2020. I have another pep challenge lesson for you today. Uh, do you remember the pep rules? Uh, rule 1, repeat what I read. Rule 2, read the text aloud. Rule 3, answer the questions. Rule 4, Write down five questions for your next face-to-face -face studio lesson or online lesson. In rule five, click the Yoyaku button at K-I-H-O-U-S-E dot J-P. In this pep lesson, please listen for and reproduce the possessive form of Jesus. For example, it's Jesus's birthday. This pep lesson title is Why Christmas? A special thanks goes out to my great student Rika for helping me with the translation for this lesson. Thanks Rika-san. Let's begin. Number one. Once upon a time there lived a man named Jesus. Number two. Jesus was born 2,020 years ago. Number three. Jesus' birthday is celebrated on December 25th. Number four. The life of Jesus is associated with kindness. Number five. Many stories have been written about Jesus. Number six. Some people believe the stories are fake. Number seven, some people believe the stories are true. Number eight, some people believe the stories keep changing. Number nine, Jesus did not graduate from high school. Number 10. Jesus took up carpentry. Number 11. He made shelves, tables, and chairs. Number 12. Jesus soon became a master carpenter. Number 13. Jesus also became a master at social networking. Number 14. Countless numbers of people followed Jesus. Number 15. There were 12 people in Jesus' inner circle. Number 16. Jesus spoke about fairness. Number 17. Poor people loved Jesus. Number 18. Rich and powerful people hated Jesus.
Number 19. Jesus preached against a system called usury. Number 20. Usury creates an unfair social hierarchy. Twenty-one. Jesus' message made the elite uneasy. Twenty-two. The elite arrested Jesus. Twenty-three, Jesus was shamed with a crown of thorns. Twenty-four, the elite then tortured Jesus. Twenty-five, the elite nailed Jesus to a heavy wooden cross. 26. Jesus forgave the elite for their sins. 27. Christmas resets Christians to the gospel of kindness. 28. So that's why we say Merry Christmas. Well, uh, now for the yes-no questions and WH follow-up questions. Number one, was Jesus born 2012 years ago? A, yes he was. B, no he weren't. C, no he wasn't. The correct answer is C. No, he wasn't. How many years ago was Jesus born? Number two. Is Jesus' life associated with death? A. Maybe for some people. B. No, Jesus isn't. C. Yes, because he ate the last supper. The correct answer is A. Maybe for some people. What is Jesus' life associated with? Number three. Was Jesus a doctor? A. Wasn't he a carpenter? B. Yes, he was. C. No, he isn't. The correct answer is A. Wasn't he a carpenter? What did Jesus do for a job? Did poor people hate Jesus? A. Yes, he did. 
B. Yes, they did. C. No, they didn't. The correct answer is C. No, they didn't. How did poor people feel about Jesus? Number five. Did Jesus' message make the elite happy? A. Of course not. B. Yes, it did. C. The elite are always happy. The correct answer is A. Of course not. How did the elite feel about Jesus' message? Number six. Was Jesus shamed with a pink dress? A. No, he doesn't. B. Yes, they did. C. Imagine that. The correct answer is C. Imagine that. What was Jesus shamed with? Number seven. Did the elite nail Jesus to a tree? A. Yes, they did. B. Yes, he did. C. That's awful to think about. The correct answer is C. That's awful to think about. What did the elite nail Jesus to? Number eight. Does Christmas reset Jews to the gospel of kindness? A. Yes, it resets. B. Nobody does. C. Jews don't believe in Christmas. The correct answer is C. Jews don't believe in Christmas. Who does Christmas reset? Thank you. That concludes this pep challenge lesson. I think it was e easier than the previous pep. I hope you gave this one the old college try. So I hope you'll book a lesson before the new year. A free glass of sparkling wine or Christmas cocktail is waiting for the first three students to reserve a lesson before New Year's Day 2021. So click that yo yaka button and see you soon. Goodbye.